now before we go ahead and design and write code for developing our register form and our login form for the sellers we have to add a widget okay in order to make our code reusable uh, for the text form fields that is when we get the name email password phone etc location okay the default location at the start from seller so for that I mean we will use text form field so we cannot just copy paste the code um, I mean the whole time we can make it reusable so for that I mean in order to make it reusable we want to simply create a new folder okay right click on live new and click on directory and we will give it name as widgets okay this one and now right click on widgets new dot file and we will give it name as uh, custom text field okay now let's import material dot dot let's create a stat list widget and we will give it name as custom text field okay just like this and I hope you remember I follow uh, I tell you guys in the first video lecture that is make sure to use underscore instead of giving it uh, I mean capital letters okay follow the flutter way of naming files okay just like this custom underscore text underscore field and now you will see the gray lines gone so anyways first of all let me tell you we will pass some parameter to this class I mean whenever we access our custom text field okay the first one will be the text which a user will write in it then let's just do it one by one you will see it now text editing controller and we will give it name as controller then we will have icon for that text field so we can say we can receive one more thing which is the icon data as a parameter okay to this class so icon data let's give it name as data then uh, the hint of that text field so we can say string and we will give it name as hint text then if it is a password text field or uh, a text field for getting text okay so you will use the property is obscure okay if it is password then it we will make it true which simply means to convert the text in dotted form okay secure form I hope you have seen already I mean the secure password when you type a password in any let's say when you log into Facebook or any other social media platform so anyways by default value for this will be true and then boolean enabled now this boolean type variable we will use that is whether we allow the user I mean the seller to write in the text field or not okay because in case of getting location that will be locked that text field because we will get automatic location when the user click on the button which you will implement that is get my current location so anyways you will see it when we go further now here in the custom text field which is our class name we will pass this I mean in the constructor of it we can simply say this dot controller comma this dot data comma this dot hint text comma this dot is obscure and then this dot enabled so after this now we can design our text from field so we can say return container decoration box decoration color will be colors dot white border radius will be border radius dot all 
radius dot circular and it will be 10 after the make sure to write here const okay after the decoration let's apply some padding from all the sides it will be at point zero make sure to write here const and then after it we will apply margins from all the sides it will be 10 make sure to write here const and then finally we can add our text form field child text form field field enabled enabled default value is true for it and then controller will be controller then the obscure text will be is obscure and then the cursor color will be theme dot of context dot primary color then after it you can say decoration input decoration make sure to add here the non check okay which is this one that is this is not null input decoration border will be input border dot none then the prefix icon icon let's add icon to it so we can say data which we are receiving here in this class a parameter okay that is which icon for which field text form field you will understand it okay now first of all let's just complete this you will do the testing of it of course after this we can say focus color and for now let's just go with the primary color and then after it we can say hint text and pass the hint text to it so this is our custom text form field okay so now we have to just simply call this class which is custom text field whenever we need to add a text form field for example for the name for the email for getting phone number okay all we need is just to pass this parameter whenever we need this custom text field okay so now I will show you how okay first of all let's just test it okay so for example on the register page okay if I say here that is return let's display it for the testing okay here so you can say center okay and I will simply in order to access it I will simply write here that is child custom text field okay and as you know we have to pass some parameters to it and which I already tell you guys the controller the icon and then the hint text if you want you can send also the uh, if the if that is the password field or let's say if you want to make the text form field enable or disabled okay so let's just pass it one by one for example if you want to make a text field for uh, getting phone number so we will first of all write that is a controller okay which is the parameter which we must pass here okay here you can see so the parameter for this for example for the testing purposes let's just create our text editing controller okay I just want to show you guys how it will work text editing controller okay let's say this one is uh, any controller okay phone controller email controller whatever okay which we will do of course later on for now let's just say any control then comes the icon for our this controller so we can simply say icon start phone and then of course the hint text for this will be phone 
and the is obscure so we want to make it true or false let's make it false because this is not a password field we do not need this in dotted form let's just refresh the app and come here to the register page here you can see an icon alongside with the hint text phone and now if I write here something like for example the phone number okay here you can see this is the is obscure property okay and now for example if I want to make it let's say if this is a password field I will simply write here I mean make it make this true okay now let's just run it and here you can see it is now in the dotted form one more property which was the boolean enabled this is basically to disable or enable the text form field that is to allow the user to write something or to not allow the user to write something here let's just understand through an example if I simply write here enable true it means that we are allowed to basically write here something okay if we just make it false then we are not allowed okay you cannot write here anymore because this is now disable okay it is disable I hope you can hear my keyboard buttons I am pressing it but we can't write anything here okay so this is now disable actually so for example now whenever we need the reason for make this widget separate is to keep the code clean so now for example whenever we need uh, any I mean text form field we will simply call our this class custom text form field okay let me just show it to you for example I have column okay and then we can say children widget so custom text form field let's say for the phone then we need something for let's say any other thing okay any other thing okay let's just check it so here you can see so we can simply I mean just call that class okay here and we have to simply pass these four or five parameters according to our need okay these five parameters we have to pass and there is no need to just write this whole code again and again here okay instead of custom text field so that is why we created this custom text field so I hope now you understand the whole idea so now let's just remove it and yeah I mean that's it for this video and in the next video we will of course complete our register form so yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now